Hello everybody, I am Toast and welcome to the Toaster. Today we are trying a new game, well a fairly old game, but a new game to me. Frog Detective! Uh, thank you Libby for the recommendation. Let's jump or hop straight in, because frogs hop. Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. This is the frog detective himself and this is a, a king sloth. A king sloth, let's go with that. Ha, ah, we're here. Movies and wazz. Cool. Do I answer the phone? The phone's not ringing, so that wouldn't help. <gasps> There's us. There's the frog detective. We're at a one minute phone. We're at a crab's birthday party. Okay. Hello? Who is it? It's the soup. Wait. I need to think of two different voices. Is this a penguin? Oh my god, it is. It's a supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, salamat data. Oh my god. That's Indonesian? Salamat datang kembali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for yours. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin is his name. Say he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for just two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help. And they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, ask them my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far away my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, supervisor. <laughs> I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around the island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. <laughs> the haunted island. His, his voice is slipping. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, I'm glad I picked my own voice for the frog detective. I feel like he's going to be talking a lot. <laughs> uh, ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Got your magnifying glass. Achievement. Oh my god, I got an achievement for that. I miss games having achievements. All right. Oh my god. Let's zoom in on my my birthday party over here. Do I look? Do I look fat in this? Ah, oh, okay, it's fine. Let's go. Time to solve. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. <laughs> Time to solve a mystery. The supervisor just for some reason carried on talking to me then. I don't know where he was. Quicks Brew. Well, Grace Bruxner presents. I don't know how I mis misread that so badly. There we are. We're off. A frog detective adventure. Good, good job, both you guys. Is this, is this a safe time for me to drink some coffee? Oh yeah. That looks pretty haunted to me. Starring the frog detective. Martin. Larry. Oh, I thought Larry was busy. Mo the mouse mouse. Bernie. Fresh X. Oh, Fresh X. <laughs> and the rest. What? Those are just PNGs of animals. Case 1 The Haunted Island. Let's go. Let's solve a mystery. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. You're a monkey? Oh, God. Hello. Oh, my God. There's, uh, uh, what's going on here? Oh, you're not the detective, you're a ghost scientist or something. This island's tiny. They haven't found a ghost. Hello. M.M. Ah, you finally made it. Thank you for coming on such short notice. 
I've heard so much about your adventures, I'm a huge fan. Well, it's very kind of you. When you figured out it was behind the forest theft in Witchstone, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. <laughs> can I ask you some questions? That's the case. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh, the resident. Tell me about Martin. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, let it be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Mm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Uh, where shall I start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Oh, okay. Who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. You already want to meet new people. Although, I think mostly what's new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. Uh, uh, if you, Mr. Rocky, I think your voice has changed as well. <laughs> I'll check it out, thanks. What would you like to know? <laughs> Nothing right now. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Thanks, Mystery Monkey. Let me just check you out. Yes. Can confirm. <laughs> that is a monkey. Or maybe a man in a suit. Alright, let's... Uh, should we talk to the lobster? Or should I talk to this dying koala? <laughs> what does a koala sound like? <gasps> Howdy! What are you doing in there? Swimming! But there's a storm! <sighs> it's not raining yet! Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms! <sighs> you know what, I can't do that voice any longer. <laughs> Who would make a voice that involves talking on the breathing out? Uh, everyone keeps telling me to get out the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why's that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Oh, sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a bow and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right. I don't have any idea where to find one though, and even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here, not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? No, I'm alright, thank you. Nothing for the moment, I'll come back. Sure thing. Oh, oh, wait, I thought that was still a cutscene, but that's just my angle that I was looking at. Hey, Mr. Starfish, can I look at I can't talk to you, but I can look at you. You alright? <laughs> okay, he's alright. Um. I guess I should... What's this? Is it a hole? No. Oh, is this... What's this? Pen A? <laughs> Where's Pen B? Yum, but it's not mine. No, oh, damn it. I'm going to zoom in on it instead. Mmm. Pen A. Ooh! There's... Oh. I love this zoom in function. I can just zoom in on everything. What's this guy? Hey, Big Bug. Oh my god, Big Bug's got a face too. Thanks, Big Bug. Oh, you can't jump. <laughs> I was trying to jump over those uh, beaches, beach chairs. Uh, hey, I forgot your name. Oh, Larry, of course it is. Hi, it's me, Larry. What? I did not do it. Uh huh. <laughs> the noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make those spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just. I didn't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Are you gonna ask me questions? You, ask me the, the questions I mean. Oh my god, Larry. Uh, the noises? They weren't me. <laughs> what can you tell me about the noises? Firstly, I am not the one making them. <laughs> yeah, but I know where they're coming from. Okay. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Well, maybe they're... I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I need a few things. I need to have an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a jug of pure gold, and some pasta. <gasps> pasta. Some normal explosive ingredients, then. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes. If you want to get to the cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me, then. 
Questions, I mean. I'm, I'm out of... Oh. Uh, no, I'm alright. I'm sure I can find them. I'm good, thanks. There's a lot of people to talk to. Do you want the same voice as another character, Mr... Wombat? Bear? Where are you? Bear? Bernie. Hey, you're the detective. You sound like a koala. <laughs> the one that monkey keeps going about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job list, you said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. Still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? I don't think this person's going to know anything about this hole. Oh yeah. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs just to let you know. But it does seem that the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow. That's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm good at, very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. Uh, that's all, Bernie. Thanks. Can I go in this hole? This seems like a natural place to start my investigation. I'm in a hole. Oh. I'm in a hole. I can't, I can't get any further down. Okay. Right, it's, it's, I don't think it's that hole that I'm going in. Where's the... Uh, what was the sloth's name? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does he look like some sort of cryptid? I don't want to talk to you, but I suppose I must. Wah, who are ya? I didn't mean to start you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay, don't stick up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Look at this mouse in the background. Is that behind my camera? Maybe. Move my camera frame and look at this mouse. I'm visible for the entire approach. Well, uh, fine, I guess. I just don't look so spooky. Okay, I do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Marty, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finlay. So I thought it was fine to claim myself king. Finlay? Hmm, who's Finlay? I don't think Finlay cares about that sort of stuff. Finlay mostly cares about the dance competition. Ooh. No, I meant to ask, who's Finlay? Oh, okay then. And where's the dance competition, more importantly? <laughs> Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Wait, who's Finley? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, no, dance competition's more important. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. <laughs> uh, who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with this whole spooky situation going on. Ah, uh, got questions for me? Uh, yeah, come on. Tell me about the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect the Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says the most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got a question for me? Uh, your nerves. <laughs> you seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, it's just a ghost getting me down. I haven't been asleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com, but now I'm living one. I'm sure we're at the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. <laughs> what voice? What's happening to your voice, Martin? I, I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Duck! Just at the conclusion of this tale. Sorry for being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on, except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it hard to calm down. <laughs> I understand ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. I think it's worse if it's not a ghost, potentially. Uh, I don't know for sure. Oh, oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exercise? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. 
You're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. Ah, nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as a thanks. Oh, please be a magnet. <laughs> perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh, perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh, I need that as well. A chunk of pure gold for the explosion. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay, that would be a really heavy crown, wouldn't it? Um, thanks, Martin. That is everything. No questions for now. No problemo. Now you just stop. <gasps> stick bug. Get stick bugged. Oh, a broom. Can I take the broom? Oh, a broom. <laughs> That's literally how I reacted. Damn it. Am I a frog detective? Um. All right. Who? Do oh, this is supposed to be the cave with the sounds coming out. Let's talk to Mousy Mouse and Mouse. Oh, hello. I want to talk to you instead. You're more interesting. You're right, Mouse. Are you just dancing? Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh my, I'm Mo as well. Oh, well, is it okay to ask you some questions? You have some questions? Questions? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the ghost. Let's not point out that Mo's nervous. <laughs> what can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost! <laughs> Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist, not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know... Uh, you know... Because you like toast? Yeah... What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around, as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out though. Sure thing. So Mo, if you like uh, toast, <laughs> and have I got a YouTube channel for you? Future Toast, make a big like and subscribe explosion happen right there. Thank you. Um, right, I'm gonna say you're nervous. I'm gonna point it out. You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing, I told you. Um, I am afraid of detectives. <laughs> Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about the dream. What? Oh, I, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Fine, you've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. <gasps> Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh, well, is there anything I can do to help? Mm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse watch, mouth watch in return. Pfft. What? Mouse wash, mouth watch. Mouth, mouse watch, mouth wash. Uh, sure thing. I'll do my best. Right, that will be... Oh, that bottle. Is that the mouse wash, mouth wash? What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouth wash, mouth wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what time it is. Yeah, I'll get to it, thanks. Thanks, Mo. You've been absolutely no help at all, but I will find out what kind of dancing uh, Mystery Monkey likes. Very sweet of you to worry. I can't swim, okay. So, I've got a broom and a piece of gold. Hmm, 
your magnifying glass isn't working, pal. I think it's just a piece of glass. <laughs> oh! I thought it was going to attack me. Ah, stop right there! Wait, are you, the, are you the superintendent? Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to sound like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells. I'm from dangerous frog feet. Oh, wow, okay. Sorry. I just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me some questions. Just be careful. Uh, that cave. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure if it's a cave. It just looked like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we're just going to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. No, nobody pronounces it like potato. Don't they? Tomato, tomato. Potato, do they not? <laughs> I do. Oh. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Be careful. Uh, tell me about your tiny shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha 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 ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure, the magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Alright. I'm looking for a giant shell for you. Right, my list. You're done. Dance. Shell. Gold. Uh, and some other stuff. Oh, a bug. What the fuck am I looking at? Right. Um, I haven't talked to you yet. Um, oh. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Buy me. Oh. <laughs> Remember, do not... Do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scobby Doo. Good advice. Really good advice, actually. Um, notes. Some hole. Noises. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> oh, magnet. Nice. This might come in handy. We've got to give it to the koala bear. Hey, koala. I forgot your name. Sorry. Uh, what was your name? Koala? Was it just koala? It was. Okay. I don't remember his voice. Oh, he's with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? I don't think it was that. The magnet. I bought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah, this is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you a big shell. <gasps> I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. That's exactly what I need. Wow, a real magnet. Have, good with, have fun with the magnet. Bye. Hey... Uh, that guy. I've got a big shell for you. Oh! Always asking questions! Ask me questions, just be careful! Big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. It's not very long. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it now I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. I've already got one. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert! Hmm. Here's the magnifying glass. What? <laughs> Is it better than mine? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see his shells. <gasps> A snake! Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Right. You there. Excuse me, mystery monkey. What kind of uh, dancing do you like? Uh... How did you how did you sound? Hey, so uh you uh you like uh dancing and uh dance styles? I don't understand. That wasn't it. Um I like dancing a lot if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most like to be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed that I want to hang out with them at all times forever. 
That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's all key. I'm sure it's important to the geese. Anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> I got a monkey fact. Nice. Monkey fact. Over here to Mr. Mr. Mouse. Uh, Mo. Mo. Break dancing. Can you learn to break dance in 24 hours? You have some questions? Questions, yes. Uh, dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Uh, did you did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I so embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes break dancing the best. Break dancing. I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouse wash mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Right. Got mouse wash mouse wash. Um. Uh, we haven't talked to this lamb lady. I don't know why I think you're a lady. You look, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Noodle, hey, how's it hanging? Uh, fine, I guess. Bored mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been in this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool or this hole? I think that's what you're. <laughs> Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trip in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. Oh, that's what these blobs are. I thought they were coconuts. Uh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made of wool. Haha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird that you use my hair. <laughs> wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep my short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? <laughs> what? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. What is wool by most people? This is the first time I've heard of somebody wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross! I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes, please. You need something to clean it up with. <gasps> like a broom. Or like fire, I don't know, fire. I probably won't use fire. <laughs> okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. Do I need to ask about this hole? Can't I just jump in it? What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. I'm not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole. But it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. That is all the questions I have for you, Noodle. Thank you so much for your help. I will be taking your wool. Why do I need wool? <laughs> Is that one of the items I need to collect? I don't remember. Give me your wool. How do I use a broom? I want your wool. I've went in the hole. Hmm. I should listen to the sign. Sign sign, don't go in. <laughs> Why can't I pick up your wool? I have a broom. I'm in the hole again. Ah, piss. Give me your wool, you damn wool. Wool monster. Um, broom. Oh, sorry. i got to specify that I've got a broom. Hey, i got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes! Amazing! Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Sure. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. <laughs> but yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew. Wool. Crown. Liquid. A second magnifying glass. Right, I think there's one more person to talk to. The, um... The pal that's lying down. Oh, I need your pen, eh? Hey, I need your penny. Eh? Questions, questions. What else do you want to know? Uh, secret agent. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. 
Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure, you're not. Birdie wigs. Oh, sorry. Stage direction. Even if I can't be a secret agent. The things I'd give up for a magnifying glass. There's nothing I want more. Hmm. Would you give up some penny pasta for a magnifying glass? Perchance, Bernie. I have a magnifying glass if you're interested. Hmm. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I did to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Cut some pasta. Oh, nice one. Bernie, that, that really suits you. Good job, Bernie. Is that a new a new bug? It's a... What is that? A tortoise? No, it's like a millipede or something. Hey, um... Crocoloco. What is your name? Oh, uh... Fresh X. Howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great, you bought my toothpaste shipment? Uh, uh no. I'm a detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Hmm, yes. Nice. I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech! Um, your clothes, your smile. Uh, I don't think these are relevant to the case. <laughs> uh, why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off! I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right, uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sure, sorry, sorry. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. Uh, do I need toothpaste? Is that one of the ingredients I need? I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad somebody finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Titus Smiles, 101 tooth whitening and cool paste for teeth, of course. Dr. Titus Smiles, 101 tooth whitening and cool paste for teeth? I got a shipment here every three days. I go for this stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Do you need this? Is this what you need? Mouthwash. Oh, yeah, it's mouthwash. Mouthwash is mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing! Thanks! Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot! Here you go, d -tech. Got toothpaste. And I got an achievement for collecting all the explosive ingredients, which makes me think... Maybe I've got all the explosive ingredients. Do I do it with you? What was your voice, Larry? Hmm. I don't know. Ask me the questions. Okay. Uh, explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Um, what did he really sound like? I can't remember. Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Yes. I want nothing more. Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite, and we can get exploding, baby! He's a pirate now. Larry's a pirate. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up! Nope, not pirate anymore. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to... carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. <laughs> Just threw at it. Oh my god, no! Larry, detective! Why don't you step back? Ooh, let's find this ghosty. We're in. Ah! This is a big cave. Holy moly. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, 
I... Okay, you're not... You're not a ghost. Um... Finley, this is Finley! Oh, hi! That's Finley's voice. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Hey, <laughs> what? I don't think so. Oh, are you sure? Hmm, yep. That's great. You're not wrong. And so, uh, who are you? Finlay! <laughs> who are you? The detective! Howdy! Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. Yeah, it's a dance person. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads a lot of ghost books and there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. <gasps> you take that back, detective. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. The cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Haha! <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, we should head back to the island. Yep. Yes, here we are. Me and the ghost. Oh, you'll be yellow. Didn't realize. <laughs> oh! What was your. Oh. Finley! Hi, Martin! Uh, hi! hi. <laughs> hey! Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You, you? What? How did you get in here? It's been sued up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noise from her radio carried to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure as a ghost! Nope, just me! It just goes to show, you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Books are without exception factually incorrect. Yep. Oh! Grace Broxon, hi there, apologies for the interruption. This is the creator of the game, right? I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and check the book is up to date. The internet can also be used for place to find information, but make sure you're getting information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Grace. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. So, anyway, as I was saying, Books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry. Oh my god. I, I can't do more than one voice at a time, clearly. And I can barely do one voice. <laughs> I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be for here. They won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So shall we boogie? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Mo the Mouse doing the break-in. I hope they fall in love. That sloth is... Oh, 
honestly gonna haunt my dreams. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who's judging? <laughs> also, my voice is done. I'll do it. Oh, oh god, Larry. That is some good moves, Larry. Oh, uh, T-Rex. Uh, Man, oh, I forgot your name. Nah, not for me. Larry's winning. Oh, damn. Break it down, Mystery Monkey. No, I think Larry's still winning. Bernie, what are you you're doing the train? Get out of here. Get out. Larry's winning still. What is... Larry's winning. I think Larry's won. I can't beat Larry. Mm, that's pretty good, but it's not... It's, it's not the best. Larry's, Larry's winning. Oh, damn, Mo! Oh, Mo, I really had hopes for you. Larry's winning. You've been practicing for two weeks, and this is all you got? Wiggling your arms? Larry's winning. Oh, I can't look at that. I can't look at this one. It scares me so much. I hate that. I love sloths. Oh, I like that. Oh, koala. Damn, koala. Oh, it's between Larry and koala. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Hold the phone, everyone. I'm going to make myself win. <laughs> oh, pick the winner. Oh, between Larry and Koala. I can't vote for myself. You know what? Larry maybe had the luck of going first, but I think Larry Larry is the winner in my eyes. Oh, I've embarrassed Mo, I bet. Oh, well. It wasn't meant to be. Good job, Larry. Oh, bye, everyone. Thanks. Nice island you had here. See you soon. Maybe. Bye. Bye, everyone. Stop waving at me now. It's okay. I'm gone. Okay. Whew. A little bit later. Oh, no. Please don't be the superintendent again. <gasps> Wait, did I miss a game? <laughs> it isn't a picture from the first game, is it? Surely not. I think maybe that's just a pride case. Oh, hello. Ring, ring. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective! Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop would have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw your bust in a groove at a dance competition. Yeah, where, where did you see that? I was on TV every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are all about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. You need our best investigator on a job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. The Detective will return in. The case of the Invisible Wizard in Warlock Woods? Oh my god. Wow. So there we go, that was Frog Detective 1, a nice short one today, but we solved the case of the Haunted Island. Let me know if you want to see uh, Frog Detective... Uh, I've, 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 uh, Frog Detective 2. Let me know if you want to see Frog Detective 2, um, the case of the Invisible Wizard or whatever it said. Um, and we can definitely do that. Thank you so much for watching everybody and have great weeks. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.